Hey, what's going on, guys? It's CBC, and I was in a lobby earlier today, and played across a, couple, a bunch of good players. And this one individual, uh, he initially beat me in the lobby, and then I, I invited him. I asked him to do a first of five, and he said sure. So here it is. Um, he originally was using a She-Hulk team with Iron Man and Captain America. I think this is maybe not his main team. I'm not 100% sure, but. Either way, I uh, hope you guys enjoy, and hopefully none of those, none of the, none of my replays that I saved skipped. <laughs> and like always, like what I do, every time I do a first of five, I always have about ten minutes or some a long time of blank screen at the end of it, so you never really know when the match is actually going to end. So when you see that at the end, don't don't be confused as to why, or don't you know, don't be like, hey yo, what's, what's going on with your video? Something messed up? No, I do it on purpose because it makes things better. And if there's like one minute left in the, in the last match, then clearly you know it's going to win. Etc. Et so, we got to the match, and good thing I did the slow uh, missiles because if they came fast, they could have just hypered. <laughs> now, at this point, uh, when you got Hagger against three characters, I mean, it's so hard to come back. I mean, I've had myself even trying to come back from using Hagger against three characters, and uh, if any of them have a good projectile game, it's 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 deadly. It's so hard to come back, even with level three X Factor. I mean, it's even worse when you gotta do it against a Phoenix team. That is, that's insane. And right here, the match should end, and that's round one. Now, hopefully, I I did have some problems with this, this match uh, while I was recording it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure it doesn't skip. But if it does, I'm gonna commentate and review and you know say what what exactly happens. So I don't. Um, here's the thing, Deadpool's. Bullets are low durability, so it takes like four to, to five bullets sometimes to pierce through regular moves. Like you see the armor that his gra his uh, grapple hook, it went through them. His grenade is a uh, is a medium durability. That's the one to use the main time because there's a lot of characters where Deadpool you're not supposed to play defensive. A lot of misconceptions about him. Now when I first started playing Deadpool back when I first got the game, I was playing like a turtle, etc., etc. But as I'm starting to get better with him, and I've been playing him since day one, he's not defensive. I, I hate his defensive game. His damage output is, is, is so low that you have to use the high input commands, which is a quick work, and low and standing ones and doing uh, tornado kick motions in order to do continuing assault, but it's tough. And he honestly, there are some characters where he is a massively offensive character. He, when you try to make space from far, it doesn't work. People can jump in on you easily. If you do your combos right, you build space at the end of your combo. Now, hopefully I can show it to you. I usually do it on block train almost every time. And I should do it somewhere around here. But once I do, I'm going to let you know this is exactly what I'm talking about. So, again, he's got Hagger at his last character against three characters with all high projectiles. And you know what? It's not, not too tough to come back, even, even if he got down to any one of my last characters. The thing is, here, yeah, so... Yeah, so after I did the team team hyper, um, the things the the thing froze on me. So, um, sorry about that. And now moving on from that, basically I just expected to roll away, and then we're moving here now. At this point, um, without X Factor, I don't know what he's gonna be able to do, um, because I use hyper as well, and I mean, you can get these lucky pipes in, but thing is, we can't capitalize without using a heavy damaging hyper. The best hyper to use, which you maximize damage on, actually, it doesn't allow you to continue juggling them. You know, rapid fire fists, right? You punch, 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 whatever. And then, if you do the higher damaging one, if you don't X-Factor, they don't bounce ground bounce at the end of it. So, you gotta, you gotta judge it right. Now, he switched back to his Captain America, and I was using Hulk and Iron Man, and I know he was a lot better with Captain America, so... I wanted to worry about my zoning. Now, this is a character that Deadpool should be using projectiles against. Close range, close and mid-range, he's a little bit weaker. And I guess both times wrong what Aerial Hyper he was going to be using, which is a shame because he's already at 3 meters and now 4, level 3 X-Factor, I mean, I'm sorry, X-Factor, level 3 Hyper when it comes to Iron Man, my character's dead. But luckily, I was able to counter this. I got him from the overhead and that overhead leaves you on the ground for so long you can do an, uh, the, the katanarama in like three seconds and you'll still get it 
to chip damage blocking too much projectiles in order for him to save himself. Now, I was starting to like using Molecular Shield because it comes out actually a lot faster than the light version than people might think. And it's a good way to continue some pressure. And mind you, it does a lot of chip damage too. Not as much as Marvel's Capcom 2, which I hope they do it. They change that because there's real the purpose for certain moves like Hard Kick, which is the, the forward and heavy, or his Molecular Shield, their purposes are very, very limited and situational. But, of course, they have their purposes, and I guess you can utilize them that way. Now, at this point, um, I love fighting Hulks when they're alone, Haggers when they're alone, the biggest characters. Any character big alone, I love fighting them. Always. I never have any worry. I don't know what it is. But again, I have, I have, you'll, I'll have problems against Zero, Beautiful Joe, even Felicia. You know, just not because of what the character is, just because of the size. Ever since even Marvel's Capcom 1. Wolverine's been my bloody nightmare since day one, man. Not only that, he's, he's badass now, so it makes it even worse. <laughs> but, um, hopefully, hopefully we just see a patch update. I don't want to see another game. I don't want to see another paid DLC. Just do a patch, because it, it'll, that's, that's all we need. And, and Hulk. Just smacked the hell out of me there, and Doctor Doom is dead. But now he's got no X Factor, right here. Um, I missed my combo, and I don't know what just happened, because he could have canceled into his hyper, and I, I don't know what that was. But that was the third match. Now, at this point, when you're in a when you're in a set like first to five like this one, when you're three to zero. Oh, I felt that I'm just gonna put a little bit more pressure, or I'm gonna be, I'm gonna do some lame things to make him crack. Because at this point, he's the one who needs to, who has a far stretch to come back, and not me. And even when you're in a tournament, you know, once you're on a falling end, especially if you're in the finals and stuff like that, the momentum shift is so important. And that was a crossover. Uh, cro crouching characters, if they don't stuff the uh, the overhead, you're 50/50. You don't even know what you're gonna block, whether it's forward or back. Now, um, I have been I've been I've been lucky to get some free a lot of free time lately to be able to practice because I'm planning to head to this tournament soon, and hopefully I get enough uh, games in with character variations to actually do very well. Hopefully I even win. Who knows? Um, that's gonna be coming up. Um, me going to tournaments. Um, I've been to tournaments when when Street Fighter 4 originally came out. Um, just my lifestyle supported where I can go in tournaments, I can spend more times on my hobbies and stuff like that. But um, right when I started playing heavily, I haven't been able to go, and this has been over two years. I've only been playing locally, and for Marvel's Capcom 3, I've only been playing literally, for the most part, by myself. Everything is just online and me and training while learning and watching online stuff and etc. etc. So it's a real great experience and also a learning curve to, to be able to go and play good players, you know? Mind you, I'm gonna expect the childish attitude everywhere I go, because that's just—I mean, we're we're still trying. We're still a growing uh, community, and that is such a sick combo in the air. Luckily, he died because I didn't have to waste any more meter or anything like that. Now, I feel that Iron Man has an edge over Doom, uh, just because of his mobility and his, his diagonal heavy moves that he could do. It's really, really good, but he's not utilizing them right, and this is giving me a great advantage because at this point. If, um, I mean, if I can get Hulk in the corner, I don't even have to use X-Factor and I can kill him at this point. Even if he had 75% health, he would have died just because I have a level 3. And only if, the only way I'll, he'll get out of this is if I screw up. Which, I, uh, I just stop trying to be flashy and try to get the win, which is more important. Now, whenever I'm playing online nowadays, if I'm playing with a friend or if I'm playing with a, an individual who wants to do a set, I'm starting to do a, a fun rule because it, it prevents a lot of boredom. Basically, this is what it is. If you win, say we're doing a first to five, first to ten, etc., whatever. If you win three times in a row with a certain team, two characters have to change. It makes things more interesting, makes it more fun, uh, makes it more entertaining to watch. I mean... I wish rules were that were even implemented in, in, in tournaments because I love it when tournament organizers 
game itself, comp the game company making certain rules that challenge the players. Because you might be good with one character, but how well do you know the game? And that's what I do. I'm morally for fun, and if that comes in a tournament one day, I would love that because, I mean, sure you might win. It's just it's what it is. And I even I even do that for Super Street Fighter. If if you win a certain amount of times uh, in a row, you have to switch your character. And it's a rule that I like to do. I respect it, and um, a lot of people also enjoy that too, uh, both on the players and the people who are watching. So I didn't do it with this match, but I will be doing it in a couple of sets coming up. And I screwed up my combo there. I could have been able to utilize it better. And at this point, I'm just going to use the gun. And at, on large characters, the gun, <laughs> it's actually not bad. It, it works well. It's got good, some good range. And it's kind of underused against large characters. Everybody else, it shouldn't be used. Never even use it in a combo. It's it's really useless when it comes to that. Because the input's so hard, and there's so many other art, art alternatives that you can use. You know? He needs to X-Factor here. He needs to get rid of Doctor Doom, and at the same time, he'll still have enough X-Factor to take care of Deadpool. He's giving me too much freedom. Way too much freedom. None of my characters are getting tagged out. I keep getting red health, and I'm, I'm, and I'm using more assists. At this point, it was a good thing that he spammed that, and he could do this. He can do this, and the raw tag at a wrong time. Then again, I screwed up, but I don't know what he was doing. He wasn't doing his super, his super armored move. He was doing something else, and at this point... If I do it right, I was gonna do the 50-50 teleport mix-up, but I didn't want to call my assist, and then he did a repulsor blaster and hit both my characters, and then he would he would uh, kill me. But I get him here, and would usually I just X-Factor to do that, and finish the match. So, hope you guys enjoyed. And don't mind the black screen that's about to be on for the next 4 or 5 minutes. Um, it's only used for the strict purpose to not ruin your, your hype for the end of the match and stuff like that. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Check back soon. And I'm going to do a channel update and more fighting videos, of course, soon. So, take care, guys. Thanks for all the subs and people who are contributing. Hope you guys enjoyed, and see you guys next time.